Desmond Mackenzie, local government minister. Today I am proud of the performance of the KSMAC. They are continuing a program that was started in 2017 when we officially acknowledged and started to recognize Homeless Day in Jamaica. So far we have been pleased about the various activities taking place across the country. I just want to say that we can significantly reduce the homeless population in Jamaica if people take personal responsibility for their families. We did a survey recently and 45% of those who are living on the streets have a relative, have a home, but they have been displaced by family quarrel and family problems and they are living on the streets. I want to urge Jamaicans listening, watching that we can build any amount of shelters we want if we don't get the buy-in of the wider cross-section about homeless population, then it is useless. But the efforts of the municipal corporations across the country must be commended. The government have increased its budget in this financial year for the homeless population by over 50% and we will continue to do everything to ensure that we build a humane place for these people to live. Angela Brownberg, Member of Parliament for Southwest and no, Andrew, and the former mayor of Kingston. I've been friends um, I believe that the activity here today, marking people. World uh, Homeless Day, is an excellent one. It showcases uh, what the current mayor is doing and the role of the local authority in its care for the homeless community. And I believe that the, the appeal also made by the uh, minister asking family members Service to make sure to they take care of other family members is also a very good one. But kudos to Mayor Swaby and the team for the work that they're doing with the homeless community and with this function in particular. Auspicious day. Robert Hill, Chief Executive Officer, Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation. So today, as you can see, we have held a ceremony and a work day in honor of our homeless population, which is the largest homeless population in, in entire Jamaica and we, our poor leaf department has done exceedingly well to bring focus and also a day of care for the homeless in Kingston and St. Andrew. Here at 65 Hanover Street is the Murray Atkins Night Shelter which is Nucleus on Hanover Street. What we have here today are mental health, physical health, as well as um, a day of pampering and care, as well of course food and other services that we'll be providing for the homeless population. We work 24 hours a day to serve the homeless, whether on street or resident here at, at Hanover, Hanover Street or any one of other of our other facilities. So what we're doing today is to bring again focus on World Homeless Day to the plight and also the needs and the services that we share and provide for our homeless population. We continue to do so with the aid of our volunteers as well as the funding from the government of Jamaica as core, of course as well 
from the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation who has the awesome responsibility and honor of serving our poor across Kingston and St. Andrew. Pamela Redwood, a member of the Jardin Group of Companies. Today we are visiting with our medical team from Cuba to this event. Um, they, are member, they are here to work with the Jardin Farm and Medical Services, a company that is owned and run by Dennis Gordon. Oh, Within the delegation, yeah. we Ladies have pathologists, and oncologists. This program is now coming we to an have end, specialized such, nurses. We are going to be asked here to be upright and at attention to cut the for cost the for medical of the care national at 50%. Anthem. Thank you. So we're inviting Jamaicans Ooh. to come to our facility at 18 and 3 quarter Linders Road to be cared for by our XT medical team from Cuba. The Jack then Pharma and Medical Services is headed by Dr. Espinosa Campbell. Hi, Andrew Sabre, Mayor of Kingston. What well, today is, as you know, is World Homeless Day, and we're trying our best to how, see how we can bring some focus to the situation of homelessness in the Kingston, in Kingston, our city. No one will ever like to be in this position, but it's a reality, and we have to see how best we can deal with it. So what we have, a lot of partners are here. We have persons from RGD, we have persons from the Electoral Office, TRN, and what we're trying to do is to see how best we can help them. The Indian High Commission also have come in. We are doctors and also the Cuban Jack, then one of our own counselor um, um, medical um, facility, has sent up 12 doctors from Cuba here to us with us today. The Indian High Commission have also, they have, they have their doctors in there, dental and all those things. And what they have done also have given prescriptions, have filled out prescriptions for, for them. So all of was a good, we are good and we want to make sure that we continue to shed some light on hope and how we can help it. One other thing I want to say in particular is that we want to get them off the street. And while we don't have the facility for everyone right now, because right in front of Justice Square, or where our Supreme Court, everything is that it is in a bad state. And what we want to do for all the, all the volunteers who have been helping to feed them, we want to feed them in one location, pull them somewhere. We're looking at how we can build out the facility here, how we can see how best we can help. Even for them to even have a bath, change their clothes, because we have clothes for them, and see they can even they go, because we can't force them to stay in. But we would love to help the situation. So today was a good day. I want to thank the minister for coming. He has one of the persons who have always focused on the plight of wholeness. And I want to thank MP Brownberg for also lending her support to the KCMC. She was the mayor. She was the mayor when I was deputy. And she has really, uh, I would say, delegated responsibility and made me who I am today. So both of them, I want to thank them. Hi, I'm Donna Gabriel, Homeless Coordinator, Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation's Poor Relief Department. Today we're here to commemorate World Homeless Day 2024 and what Kingston has done this year, we have taken the form of a Wellness Day of Care. And we are very grateful for the support that we, re we have received from the High Commissioner of India in providing medical support for the less fortunate. Uh, so did today meet your expectations and what are the next steps? Well today of course it did meet our expectations, however it as a part of human services, it is for us to provide continued care and to build on what we have here today. We have networked and now it is time for us to foster this partnership and to go forward. As he mentioned earlier in his presentation, he intends to be a part of our annual activities and we, we, we feel overjoyed to have um, secured such a partnership.